two things have happened in the news since I started this petition. And as I said, this is not just about me. This affects other people. And I need to make this video before more stuff happens in the news that this situation, this petition could help solve. First of all, the Hong Kongers in their protest defending democracy in Hong Kong have gotten on an airplane, flown to Taiwan. Taiwan's an island, you got, you got to fly to get there. And they applied for an asylum in Taiwan. Now, Taiwan's government rejected their applications and said, we need papers showing that the police are out to get you or we need documented proof of you being at a protest when you're in trouble or else we can't help you. It's like, wait a minute guys, anyone in Hong Kong who stands for democracy is under political persecution, which is one of the bases he's for an asylum. Uh, if the Hong Kongers who are applying for the asylum had the papers from the police or the evidence the police could use against them, then Hong Kong probably wouldn't even let them get on the airplane to go to Taiwan and apply for an asylum in the first place. So, I mean, under Taiwan's law, they could have already approved those applications or they could have asked the president for help, but no, they just quickly rejected it because they think the same way about the Hong Kong applicants that they thought about my situation. They could have approved my own application for uh, permanent residence, but they didn't pay attention to it carefully. They didn't try carefully to do justice. And now those Hong Kongers had their applications rejected. Now, Taiwan's president came along and she said, no, they could apply for, uh, you know, uh, an asylum under uh, such and such a whatever. But she had to come out and say that. And then that's still an ongoing decision that, that isn't totally final. And she only had to say that because the government workers in Taiwan didn't know how to think clearly about giving justice to foreigners. Now, if Congress had taken my own situation more seriously, those Hong Kongers might not have had their applications rejected. But I wrote to Congressman John Mulinar of Michigan, a Republican, I vote Republican, and uh, he, he's emailed me, messaged me, nothing about taking action, and I've had no help at all. Uh, second item in the news goes back to Congressman Mulinar. This, this Iranian immigrant who needed insulin and apparently had a criminal record, but the rest of his family had all become Americans and he just never did. And so immigration in America deported him back to Iran. He didn't know the, the language. He needed insulin. You can't get insulin in Iran. And he died of lack of insulin. But they said, oh, we're giving you medical supplies. You're all set. You need to have an insulin source. Didn't the government workers think about that? You know, but, you know, they just do the injustice first and then, oh, darn it, we should change the law and say that later. Well, now this is big news and, and this is a, a horrible thing that happened. And now all of a sudden, my congressman, Congressman Mulinar, wants to go help solve his problem. Where was Congressman Mulinar trying to solve me? I mean, I'm his constituent. Congressman John Mulinar, Republican, is my congressman. I voted for him in the absentee ballot that I did online, which you, you might have seen. So, you know, when are we going to solve the problems before they get catastrophic? These things could have been solved if Congress had just listened to their constituents and tried to do justice to individual people with things that might not seem so big yet. And that's really what all this comes down to. We need to understand how important every individual is. The people in Taiwan's government need to treat their jobs as important, even though they're just going about their days and might not think that it's important work. You, in, in your job or your work, your family, the little things you do matter, the little things that I do matter. The Congress dealing with individuals like me before we're famous, those things matter, but it's just not happening. I'm not angry at Congressman Mulinar. I don't want to go out and campaign against him, at least. I'm not to that point yet. I still have hope. We all make mistakes. I hope Congressman Mulinar can learn from his. Helping me with my situation would help a lot of people because I'm not the only one going through this. So 
my situation is just a test that would see if the problem has been solved. But we've got a lot of people that, that are having trouble with, you know, they're in a different country and their government just doesn't listen to them very carefully. Please sign the petition, tell your friends, and let's raise awareness about the need for us to understand each other and, and do good work in government.